Listen. Fall. The season of listening for what we must let go. But your listening was something hungry, a demand to be spoken to, to be heard. Now far from him, you remember two things, probably accidents or undeserved gifts. Like the slant way you realize spring, weak tea light of dusk, wrist moon shadow when you hold the hot cup, a knowing that slinks through your gaze. But you're doing it again. Please, just listen. Driving with him to work, morning moon passing through pine, sleight of hand, shocks of silver, the story of the farrowing sow. How as a kid he sat in the broth of straw, burnt wood, manure. Furious mewing, steaming birth, he'd place the litter in a box of rags, cut their teeth, return them to their mother. How he and his brothers took turns waiting. Head wrapped in scarves of sleep, he'd break the night mirror. Split light of snow stars pooled in alloy sky how he sang stories to stay awake. You realize you are panicking. You want to free him from the scars of smoke, work, whiskey that tear him from the small songs he made in front of the fire where he learned how to wait. Listening has made your heart a bruise, a dark pearl of gravity. Outside your cabin, the great blue heron rising each morning a gesture of abandonment to what is more. It shames you. You watch the moon finally sink into a barbed crown of unlit pine and not rise. That's the only thing you can recall with any sort of clarity. The moon's last time, and with such voiceless ease. Womb. There is always a room that we will never return to a room shared with a lover in another country. I come to you at night with few belongings through moon blank faces in the pace of Nevsky prospect, the infinity of orbit, turn the corner. On the steps of the cathedral that held Dostoevsky, a man without shoes, charred dove feet bound in potato sacks, turn the corner. Shared breath of train station, snow exhaling earth, oil, what we leave behind in our steps, longing for home. A kitchen, the inside smell of yeast, a tent of sleep, our bodies when they are animal, sweat gathered where we bend. Rye bread, wine, tea, light a candle, your head in my lap, and the river curl of your hair slow tongues of city light and smoke turn the corner for home come i will follow you i said to a place where night is a season where the horizon is as fine as beneath a lover's hand lacing on a chemise i will follow you to a city sown by river where we'll stand on a canal your hands warming in my coat horizon open our faces in a constellation of snow and stars. I will follow you to where there is no parting, to a city sown by river, horizon spilling snow, spilling stars, your hands warming in my coat, near a river, for a season, for an hour. Come, you said, come. Unsent letter number 47. Grey nap of false dawn held in the glass of water I left beside the lamp the night before. It's May, the moment in bed before we rise, when dream has not yet given way to what we can bite into. Or a thin taper, skittish flame, and in any breath only the smoke tail of some burrowing animal. The trick of May is to believe with empty hands, and then always, after we fail at faith, small fires of crocus or bluebell snag the eye. But Corey, it's been raining for weeks, and elms are old men sitting on the porch of the local hotel. Cartilage worn, they hum country songs of bone on bone. This is all there is. 
You told me once that sky in the May of your childhood, Grenfell, south of Regina, is the color of your old blue t-shirt. Maybe someone has said it better, you thought. Maybe not. Somewhere I read that Renoir believed what survives the artist is the feeling he gives through objects. This morning, stretched across its heart, Sky wears a t-shirt rubbed butterfly thin by so many slow Saturday mornings, coffee and a newspaper, sleep thick limbs. Corey, it's been raining for weeks, but as I write this, two boys throw a tennis ball at a garage door, small fire pulse of sun at the corner of eye. This is all there is. I have traveled for a season and at the end of my hunger, who could imagine such abundance? A last swallow of cold coffee, the slap of boy shouts and a ball. Sky, old t-shirt blue, woven of so many petals of rain. That song that goes. For no reason I can name, I look away from the book and see the moon deepen into golds and reds. Eastern sky, a sodden blue. Spring dusk is something to breathe deeply. Wet dirt, stubble, last year's leaves. And like a dream that comes back only when unasked for, I recall his hands from when I was a child. Rough wood, tobacco, metal of earth. A friend tells me of early gray mornings at his kitchen table. There was tea, the beginnings of a wood fire, his wife, bread, and in the winter riverbed, the long slow ache I carry inside briefly fills with the singing of spring melt. Memory is that song the heart hums along with, the one without thinking, beneath breath. Ash, smoke. Wait, my grandfather's crop is in so my dad can work road crew. 16 hour days driving greater, saving eight bucks an hour to buy his own place. Northwest, 18, 36, 22, west of second, a name that will mark distance. But now I imagine him humming small songs that mean home, work boots by a door, kitchen window frost, honey and tea, his hands unclenching against her breasts, stars, I've never really listened to his stories, so I don't know where he is, but July sun, a wet stone, thins his body. Later scars of heat, sweat, clay, splintered trees are totem to what breaks him. His eyes the color of a palmed drink from slough. After he'll drink whiskey, woman hand warm to shh away the many million insect shriek of machine, to ease his bones into the camp's plywood bunk bed. Hot cup, night window, his hands, her breasts, stars. He is mad with grief, but no one believes him. I've never listened to his stories, but there is no time for shame. Someone has thrown me in front of his blade. Throat, bare mirror in sun. Quick, I'll be ground into soil. Ash, smoke of an old war. My heart, clipped tongue, cause for air. Quick. Somewhere a man digs dirt in heat, sweat, clay, splinters, leaves in his hair, plow on rock. He knows there will be ash, smoke, woman hands, whiskey, shriek of machine, and after that his name will mark distance. It'll break him, but no one believes. He is mad with grief. Why does he stop plowing, jump off the grater, wipe dirt from my eyes? By my name, he gives up so much. Shh, there is no time for shame now. <laughs>